and welcome to Trail Trials, the video review section of ironfar.com. My name is Travis Lyles and in this video we're going to take a look at the Montreal Mountain Massacus 3. The Mountain Massacus is a bit of an oddity when it comes to trail running shoes in general. And that's because it hasn't changed much since its initial launch back in the 2008-2009 time frame. Uh, this shoe has gone through a couple of minor changes here and there with the addition of the fluid frame, which was brought in the Mountain Mascus 2. And in this, we're really doing a little bit of a subtraction, and we're moving the heel-to-toe drop from 10 down to 8. The shoe in general has some very basic statistics. This is a... Of course, a trail running shoe, it weighs in at just over 11 ounces, though that's not published on, on Montreal's website. Uh, and again, 8 millimeter heel to toe drop uh, with a kind of moderate cushioning. So with that, let's dig in, let's, uh, let's talk about these shoes, and let's get up close and personal with them. So what we have here are the, uh, the men's size 9. Uh, this is in the colorway of the gray and uh, chartreuse. Uh, basically, it's a uh, bright yellow. There's also another color. Uh, here, which is a light, a, a light gray uh, with some of the yellow as well as this orange. Uh, the women's also has this exact same colorway as well as one similar uh, to this, but in place of the orange, there's what they call a clear blue or a teal. Uh, so that's what you're looking at. Uh, again, this, this shoe weighs in at right around 11 ounces. Uh, it's not published on their website, but uh, that's what I've, I've come up with. Uh, and overall, let's just uh, let's just start at the tread and, and, and work our way around. So, if you're familiar with mountain masochists in the past, you're going to see nothing different here on this tread pattern. Uh, some of the things I like about this tread pattern are, of course, you have uh, the forward-facing lugs and the reverse-facing lugs. Um, you have some of these cutouts in, in here as well, or these blades. Uh, and I found these actually to work really well on some loose as well as uh, muddy uh, type type conditions because that stuff tends to get in these little divots. Uh, not enough to hold it like a pocket, but enough that it sort of gunks up in there and gives you some added traction. There's also some interesting cutouts here uh, that you see in this yellow. And the thing I really enjoy about these is that even though this shoe has uh, more volume than say a minimal shoe, it keeps your arch and the outside of your foot relatively close to the ground and for me that makes for a really stable ride uh, keeps my ankles from uh, from twisting uh, and and just in general I've had a lot of good success with these and I feel like a lot of it has to do with this sort of low to the ground feel even though you can see uh, you do have a decent amount of foam uh, in the heel they use grip tonight uh, which is a very common uh, tread uh, material that uh, that Montreal uses and you of course that that's used all the way throughout uh, which is a little bit of a sticky rubber, more of a general purpose, uh, but again, tends to work well, tends to hold up well uh, over long distances. Um, I'm comparing this, of course, to my old versions of, of the Mountain Masochist, the two and the ones that I've had, uh, but I'm generally able to get, you know, 300 plus miles uh, out of a pair of those shoes before I really have any problems at all. Uh, specifically on the tread, it seems to do really well and, and definitely last the life of the shoe. And then just throughout, you're going to see some nice little little things of kind of some, some lugs going both inward and outward of the shoe or medial and laterally. Uh, and again, reverse lugs kind of all out. So they do some interesting things with the tread patterns, hopefully giving you uh, traction kind of in every direction. Uh, so again, really protective uh, uh, shoe and, and, and works well across lots of different surfaces. So we're going to go ahead and flip over to the midsole now. And... The midsole, again, is, is pretty much unchanged from, from the version 2. Version 2 brought the fluid foam, uh, which is Montreal's proprietary way of, of basically creating stability in the shoe without adding in a huge uh, wedge, right, of a, of, of a frame in here that's going to help with pronation control. So versus, you know, one kind of foam and then laying a block of, of harder foam in there, they have these various types of foam all the way throughout. So soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard all throughout here so it creates stability without being one big chunk of foam in there uh, that could possibly you know push your foot to roll to the outside so this is a much more gradual post than what you see we looked at the same exact uh, stuff in the flu in the Montreal Mountain Mascus 2 as well as the Fluid Flex ST that we reviewed last time so again this is something that uh, 
I, I think works well. I'm a bit of a pronator. Um, I feel like this is a, a nice way of adding some stability on the trail without having to worry about having a full-blown post in there. But overall, very... Um, very good foam, very cushioned ride, not spongy, you know, like a Hoka or anything like that, like a super cushioned shoe. Definitely in, uh, I'd say, in the middle of the road in terms of, uh, of having enough foam in there that you have shock protection, that you have rock protection, that it's something you can wear on your feet for a long time, um, but not so little that you lose that ground feel. So I feel like, again, with these kind of cutouts here in the side and the way this shoe rides, uh, it does really well. I also feel like it can do just fine on on road gravel technical downhills uphills uh, this midsole to me is a very good general purpose midsole uh, and as you can see it's this just consistent foam uh, all the way around with the exception of the fluid frame that's going to exist really from about the middle part of the heel uh, to right about where the forefoot starts here uh, kind of on the ball of your foot all right so let's uh, let's hop up here to the to the upper um, one of the things I noticed was a slightly less hard toe cap area. Uh, the apex here where the sole wraps around is still very much a good, you know, going to be able to take some abuse if you catch your toe on something. Uh, but this, this vinyl material that's overlaid on top of the mesh uh, tends to have been relaxed a little bit, which I actually think adds to a little bit better foot feel. Uh, my toes can stretch out just a little bit more in here uh, without having to feel cramped and feel like I'm, I'm butting up against kind of a hard shell. So that's a, a nice little update here. Uh, as we move around the shoe, we can see these straps. These are all obviously very similar uh, to what we had in the Mountain Masochist 1 and 2. Um, so the ability to create that cinch around the foot which I feel like is really good especially for technical stuff for running downhill hard and cornering uh, these things really grip my foot well uh, and I feel like put a put a nice hold on top of them so you see that throughout and of course on on both sides two points here that I'll, I'll call out on the tongue and on the heel uh, they've reduced the amount of foam uh, on the heel cup here uh, as well as as well as on the tongue so one of the things I always thought was really great uh, about the masochist was that it had a super padded tongue, uh, and the positive, of course, of that is over those long distance races, it's kind of nice to have some of that protection from your laces so that you don't get that fatigue on the top of your foot, but it held water. So uh, hopefully with the reduction in uh, foam here on the heel and on the tongue, you're going to see that drain a little bit faster, which is just going to happen, right, just by, by having, you know, half the material here, maybe 33% less, just a rough, rough estimate in terms of what's there. And making that a little bit easier on you. Uh, very traditional lacing pattern here. Uh, again, we're going to use those anchors to secure that to the foot. And really a lot of mesh in here. Uh, and, and something I've always felt like the masochists have done it, an adequate job of is, is draining water. Uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with how these midsole sits in here. You have mesh that goes all the way down. Uh, that exists on both sides of the shoe. Uh, so most of the time that water is probably going to settle in about the middle of the foot and be able to, uh, to push itself out from there. Really good feel. Haven't really noticed anything different. Uh, even though we do have less uh, foam in the heel, I don't feel like it's any less secure in the heel. Maybe by a little bit, but nothing that uh, just we're using the upper laces uh, and really cinching those things down uh, isn't going uh, to help with. So uh, overall, really good fit. So let's, uh, let's hop out and, uh, and talk about final conclusions here. In closing, the Montreal Mountain Masochist is one of my favorite shoes. If you see pictures of me uh, anywhere, I'm, I'm wearing a pair of these uh, for the most part. And that's because it's really like a pacifier. Uh, it is that shoe that if I don't know what I'm getting into, I don't know how long I'm going to be on my feet, I'm not quite sure of the terrain, I know that this may not be the absolute best choice, but it's a choice that I can count on and have been able to count on uh, for a long time. So again, uh, just the fact that Montreal has really left this shoe alone and just kind of done some real minor updates uh, throughout the years, uh, you know, some may look at that as a bad thing. Uh, for myself, I look at that as a really great thing, especially since it's my, uh, my go-to shoe. So if you're looking for an all-around shoe that really can do it all from mud to rocks to technical to groom to even a little bit of road, uh, this is definitely a shoe worth, uh, worth looking out for. So any questions or comments, Place those below the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.